doing the Bubblegum Lab. And in Spanish, La Bar de Gum et Bubble, I think. Is that Spanish? Well, Maybe it's, it's French. Well, it's a different language. And it includes watermelon, blueberry, and mint flavors. Yep. And you actually, have, you make your own bubble gum in the bubble gum lab. Oh, you only need to open the side. Okay. Okay. Instruction. It smells good in there. A lot of ziplocks. This, no, but the only one ziplock. It's just a big zip. And instructions and lab notes. And so I think this is like the gum base thing. What is that? Corn syrup. Yep, that's very thick. Powdered sugar. The watermelon flavor. And mint flavor. Blueberry flavor. And the citric the acid one. to add some sourness to it, which means I'm going to add a lot of that. Mm. Okay, so this is what you'll need to get by yourself. Microwave oven, disposable microwave cups, oven mitts, measuring spoons, rolling pins, scissors, paper, dry markers, tape slash glue, butter knife, aluminum foil, water, food coloring, non-stick cooking spray, granulated sugar, wax paper, microwave, drinking glass or glass jar, plastic spoon or stir stick. That sounds a lot. Uh, and you're going to need to get your own food coloring. Because it doesn't come with food coloring. Okay, so let's start. How much are you going to pour in? A tablespoon. Can you get the, um, <laughs> the kitty scissors? <laughs> okay, I got the kitty scissors. Oh, that was so much easier. Okay, so now you just have to cover our, up the gum base with water. It doesn't tell you how much, just cover it. Um, heat in the microwave for 15 to 10, 20 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna put that in the oven. Okay, microwave, meal. 15 to 20 seconds, I'm gonna do 20. So it's nice and soft. Oh, and then we gotta put the thing in. That's right. Before we press start. So it's out in the oven. Look at it. Oh, that's squishy. Did you turn it on? Oh yeah. Squishy. I'm like squishing every single piece flat. Squishy. It says if it's not soft enough to mix, we can go put it back for five to 10 seconds. Okay, so we're putting it back in the oven. That was a mistake. Okay, so this feels much more like gum. Okay, so it's much easier actually to use your hands once you get it stuck to each other. It's so first use a little bit of silica and then just go to your hands. Rinse it up. And we're going to add two teaspoons. He's a bubble. Going in. Oh, that's thicker going than honey. In, going out oh, and it's going in. Wait, that, that's too much. Mm -hmm. I think that's already two teaspoons. No. Yes. Okay, by the way. There's tips about staying clean that I did not read or listen to. So, I already spilled water on my dress. You just want to jump on it, huh? Yeah. By the way, be ready with paper towels, because this is very sticky. I'm going to use blue food coloring with watermelon flavor. Because it doesn't really matter if you make, if, if it looks weird, but... That is yeah. weird. I like the color blue. And I like to taste watermelon. So I'm gonna do it. Oh, you've been the ball sticking into this. Oh no. It says until it's smooth. <gasps> it's sticky. <laughs> do you think I can do it with my Keep hands going. now and just wash wash my hands after? Okay. Hands are so much easier to use. Like the best tools you can use ever. That's gonna be gross in it. Oh, it just smells like something. Alright, corn syrup. No, 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 it's something I've cooked before. What have I cooked? I barely cook, so it has to be easy. Nah, nah. 
This is really sticky. I think it's good. Let me just... Okay, next step. Okay, so I'm going to put two drops of blue food coloring. Mm. One over there. One over there. Okay. Okay, mix. Oh, wow, this is fun. Okay, this is a pretty blue color. Okay, so the watermelon lamb recipe is that. That's what we're making here. One tablespoon of gum base, one tablespoon of, tablespoon of corn syrup, half, one and a half, or half a tablespoon of watermelon flavor, one, one eighth tablespoon citric acid, and two tablespoons of powdered sugar. Two teaspoons. What's this, powdered sugar? Yes. Good, make sure you get I hope it's not citric acid. I know what citric acid looks like. It's, I've seen it before. Hey, I haven't even put the powdered sugar on. Yeah. Okay, get all of it. Get all of the citric acid. Hey, are we missing something? The flavor? Yeah, one half. <laughs> and one half of watermelon flavor. Most important part, the flavor. Okay, now this gum is much better to chew. There oh, we go. Okay, mix them up. Okay, in the whole thing. Come on. Oh, it smells good. Come on. All over the gum. All over it. We just remembered we do not need the rolling pin. You can just use your hands. Make a Making a cylinder. My Make hands are the dirtiest thing in the world. Then. Make it twice as long. Okay, I think this is enough. Sugar! Okay, I'm gonna cut it in bite sizes. There we go. I'm just gonna rip it. <laughs> you okay, think that's I've... easier? Yes. Uh, we've been spending hours on this thing. Just one piece of gum takes hours. I'm tired. You're doing a good job. Be patient. Uh, that's good exercise. You can bring that when uh, next time we. Uh, <gasps> I can sell them. Next time we catch Pokemons. Oh yeah, that'd be helpful. Okay, so I'm rolling it in powdered sugar and citric acid. Okay, I think that makes sense. Okay, let's put them in. Fourteen. I mean, fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. There's the final product. Okay, first taste. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, it looks nice. It your smells nice. Finger shaking. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not sour what? enough. Huh? What is like? I can taste the watermelon. Uh huh. I can taste the citric acid. Okay, I want to try one. What are you doing? This is gross. Remember? Elf? Oh, that tastes so much, uh -huh. so much better. I have more citric acid. It's actually good. But it needs more citric oh, acid. You need gum, real gum. Okay. We're signing off. Bye.